Right, so I don't know if you figured it out, but we... Oh, I'll take you some glass off. Well, I don't know why I'm saying we. I'm on my own. <laughs> Currently at Cadwell Park. The boys are just down here in the truck. And today we're going to reveal who's riding the two RC45s at the Classic TT. Because we've come for... Uh, hired the track for two days. Well, not hired the track. We've booked the track for two days. But I think we're only going to need it today. Because as you can see, the sun is absolutely... Look. Clear blue sky. Unbelievable. If we don't get some uh, good track time today, I don't think that's possible to not so really excited and another thing this is the first time i've actually got in the van like left the house at like quarter to six got up like what i normally would have to do to go to the workshop and it, it felt amazing to be actually getting up getting out and needing to be somewhere at this time which is something i never in my life thought i would say because i hate getting out of bed especially getting up early so yeah that was weird as well but i'm excited for today and excited to show you guys who's going to ride the bike so we'll get some nice footage of the bike i'll probably try and chuck it's 360 on the bike for a lap or two as well and yeah get a little interview of what he thinks of the bike and stuff as well so stay tuned this track day is absolutely rammed so there's the truck up there so i'm just going to sneak in boss come last night in his camper so i'm going to sneak in here beside him I'm allowed. I think it says keep clear access at all times, but I'll just say to the tractor driver, see what he says. Don't like walking too far, I've still got a bit of a limp, so see if I can blag it. It's like a race weekend. See what the boys are doing. Most important thing I've had to get from the shop was two litres of semi skim milk. That's how important my job role is right now. Fucking T boy. Unbelievable. Need to rub that off, Neil. <laughs> has been I'm sure he used to race. I'm gonna keep that tire and show it to my grandkids and say, look, I was important one day. Once upon a time, I was yeah. nearly fast. Oh my god, they look good, don't they? What do you think then, Graham? You've been up building these things. You had to go pull Neil out of the shit, didn't you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, I meant yeah, Neil. To build them. Neil, he's just got on the camera and admitted that he had to go up and pull you out of the shit just to get to get the bikes going. Huh? Well, I mean, wouldn't have been here otherwise. Oh, Neil, are you going to admit now you'd rather work on these than on my race bikes? Are you going to put that fucking camera away and do something where fucking wild? I'm going to do that top you up. Are we saying? Yeah. This lane or that lane? This thing. That right. Further back. Middle of the number board. Middle. Middle. Back. 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 Yeah. That'll do. So, officially, this is my only contribution to the whole biker team. So I've had the video. <laughs> and for any of you anoraks that know the colour of the number board, for the classic, this is actually going to be white. So we're going to have like a black pinstripe, white number board with a with a black number. I'm obviously going to get Neil to do the rest of them after I've been doing one. I've already brake cleaned it as well. Yeah. When's the reveal? Huh? When's the reveal? Yeah. We have to get them to watch the whole video to get the, the money in, Graham, so we can't reveal them straight away. Can't get a number plate in. Oh, That's no. That's another clue. Well, he's got some screen stickers, he said. That's another clue. Yeah. How do I stop it? the red button. I thought that was the best point to reveal who's riding the bike because I want to like get his reaction of firstly what he thinks of it and then see how excited he is to ride it at the 
classic TT, so let's go and have a, give a look and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, here she comes. Well, at least she kept going and she didn't run out of petrol. <laughs> well done, Graham. What? Will the mystery rider please reveal himself? <laughs> <laughs> So, obviously, quite a few people guessed right and said it was, some people even said like the beautiful Nathan Harrison on the comments. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I think they've got <laughs> slight issues, but we, we give the right hand gear shift as a bit of a giveaway and it was between you and Hutchie's, yeah, most people knew. I don't know, what do you want to say about how do you think the bike, stuff like that went? Yeah, well, first of all, I'm glad it isn't Hutchie and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was the first run on it. It was absolutely amazing. Like, Look at them, they're amazing. I, I, you've been sending me pictures and stuff, and I've just been like, I can't wait to get on it. It's an iconic bike, and then riding around there, then it's just like the noise and the sound of it. That was the first session, and I haven't even really opened it up, so yeah, no, yeah. I can't wait to proper open it up. Oh, that's cool. And you think you think it's going to suit then at the TT and stuff, like what oh, we yeah. spoke well, about? What, like we were just saying, then it's like low down, it's not got much there because it's, it's not like made for that. But like six, seven, eight thousand RPM where you're always out of the TT, it just pulls like a train, so. But I think now, like, the amount of effort that you to put into it, I think it's going to be a proper weapon. Yeah, I can't, I can't really say that I've put a lot of effort <laughs> in. I've put some number eight stickers on today and videoed it, but no, I'm, I'm really chuffed that you, you enjoy it. And it, like even just looking at the first session, you look you look mint on it straight away and stuff. And the other thing we were going to say, we've obviously got like a new suit and everything sorted out for you as well. So the, the paint job and the suit and everything is going to look. It's, it's a shame we don't have the suit today. But I know. I think that's going to be something. That'll be something good to reveal. Oh before. yeah. Yeah, we don't want to do any undressing videos yeah, on, yeah. On, my, uh, <laughs> on my YouTube, but thank you very much for riding the bike. Yeah, well, and I'm, thanks for I'm, the opportunity. I'm glad you're on it. So there you go. He's revealed himself and the jammy fuckers getting to ride around Cadwell in this weather on two beautiful factory RC45. So I'm a little, not even a little, I'm a lot jealous if I'm very honest. I'm a lot jealous, but no, I'm happy to see the bikes out and the boys are all and even Neil's in a good mood because he likes working on these things even though he hates Hondas. What? Well, do you not love Hondas? Yeah, he loves this Honda. Just this one? Not the new Fireblade? <laughs> you hate Fireblades? Oh, that's fair enough then. Funny random fact, so like when we do Super Sport or anything, Graham always does the front tire warmer and Neil always does the rear one and like obviously the same front stand and stuff like what they're doing now and they just automatically go into the, into the same routine.
So the other thing I've realised from being here is obviously BSB, well not obviously, BSB is going to come here in a couple of weeks and there's quite a lot of guys that will be doing BSB. So here's like McManus's and stuff and there's two or three other super sport riders that were up top of just being chatting to them in the ghost. Yeah, they're all testing here because Cadwell is the thrust in the next round and then Cadwell is the round after that. Getting a bit of sneaky, sneaky testing. Jesse's chariot. Yeah, Neil, teach teach that Honda rider how a Honda works. He's got no, <laughs> got no idea. I'll charge Harvey for the, for teaching him. That's the back. That's the back part there. <laughs> this, is, this is the front bit. Tell you what, Graham, he's putting some shift in now. He's got a new rider, isn't he? He never did. He never did. This is what he does for you, but you're always out. And you don't no, notice. does he? Did he hell? He never even had his hands dirty when look. He's got two torque wrenches. Ball <laughs> flicker. What's Graham doing? Oh, is he wanting adjustments? Yeah, just making some small adjustments. Can't do enough, Graham. Can't do enough for a good rider. What we're doing about the seat? Yes. Nothing. We're on the camera. He, he should be working. He should be working. Where's the other one? Yeah. So it's not bad enough. He's got. He's been riding around on this bike for the morning. Now he's going to ride around on this one. You're not happy enough for 145, you've got two. Oh, okay. Huh? Okay. Unbelievable. Is this the one that's had the refreshed motor and stuff, Graham, or was that the one that he was the other one he was on? So yeah, he's he spent most of the morning riding. Well they're gonna call it the number one bike. Uh, and now he's gonna go out on this bike for the afternoon session. Same thing, just to make sure everything's working, because obviously, like we pointed out before, he's got the different gear selector and everything, plus the new suspension, new wheels, new brakes, quite a lot, so there's different pipes on this bike as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get that run and then that'll pretty much be it for the day. Is there same same amount of tape on the radiator, yeah? Right, so in the midst of excitement of setting off and saying goodbye to all the boys and Nathan and so on, I forgot to do like an outro. I've had a real good day to be honest. He's a good kid. As much as it upsets me watching someone else ride the bike, I'm just happy that there's a good lad on the bike and he will do the bike justice. So I'm really excited to go. I'm actually going to the Classic TT with the team and stuff to try and help out and do as much as possible and then doing some work for the guys at the TT as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Any of you fans and stuff that I haven't seen for a long time, please come and say hello and uh, let us know how you're keeping. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the support, both on socials and on the YouTube. And stay tuned because we've got some good vlogs coming up as well. And then obviously the classic is going to be quite fun. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.